Greetings and salutations, dear viewers! Welcome to another mouth-frothing episode of The Anti-Viewer! <laughs> you know, one of the things I look for when I pick up a new anime to watch is an interesting premise. Those of you who follow the seasonal lineups for anime will know what I mean when I say that there's a fair bit of resemblance in the premise of many anime. But every once in a while, you come across a series whose premise is, for lack of a better word, completely outlandish. It's so ludicrous, so disarming, so completely out of left field, that you instantly want to give it a try, which is certainly the case for today's offering. This is Mysterious Girlfriend X. Mysterious Girlfriend X is a manga series written and drawn by Richi Ueshiba that was released in September of 2006 and is ongoing as of the present day. The manga is published in noted seinen magazine Afternoon, which also counts such illustrious standards as Genshiken, Historie, and one of my favourite manga of all time, Oh My Goddess. The series was adapted into the present 13 episode anime in April of 2012 and ran until June of this same year. Production was handled by relative unknown Hoods Entertainment, and from what I can gather, this is their third offering in terms of fully produced anime, coming after such repulsive standards as Manyu Hikensho and the universally despised Saikon no Quasar. That's quite a damning repertoire, I must say. Oh, and I'm pretty sure they also did the graphic twincest OVA Aki Sora as well. This just keeps getting better and better! But you know what they say, never judge a book by its publisher, and I'm of the opinion that the same holds true for anime except for Sebek. Besides, I only found out about their other series whilst doing research for this video, so you can expect a totally unbiased review. Also, you'll have noticed that I haven't talked about the premise, and that's because I've done like the title of the anime says, and I'm keeping things mysterious for a moment. Want to know more? Well, watch on, my drooling ninnies, because this is a review of Mysterious Girlfriend X! The main character of this anime is one Akira Tsubaki, a 16-year-old high school student, god where have I heard this premise before, who lives in a town whose name is absurdly difficult to pronounce with his older sister and father. Tsubaki is, by all accounts, a normal and average boy. I mean, really normal. I mean, my nickname for him is Norman McNormal Person the Very Ordinary because god damn it, if I can't find a single trait of his, that can be considered unique. He goes to school, hangs out with his buds, is into pretty girls, likes sci-fi movies, and most likely is related to Nami from Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. As bland as I'm making him sound, Tsubaki is actually a perfect main character for the series, and you'll understand shortly when I introduce the other main character and his foil. Well, okay, I did actually think of two things that set him apart from the other guys his age. You see, he has this thing where he hears about his best friend's relationship with his girlfriend, and then tries to replicate the things spoken of with his own significant other, which leads to humorous results. The second quirk of his is actually directly linked to the relationship he shares with his girlfriend, something that not a single one of you would ever expect. Excited yet? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I hope! May I introduce you to the second main character of this anime, and Tsubaki's titular mysterious girlfriend, Mikoto Urabe! As you may have guessed, this character's big thing is how little we truly know about her. But for your benefit, I'll list down what I do know. Urabe is a gloomy and stern person who prefers to sleep during lunch breaks, carries scissors in her panties which she uses with stunning accuracy, and is known to live in an apartment with her parents, who we never get to see. Raises a lot of questions, doesn't it? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet! The largest and most persistent mystery by far about Urabe is her bond with Tsubaki, which is forged in... well... Admit it! You weren't expecting that! Yes, it seems that our heroine's saliva holds some very interesting qualities, which allow her to exchange emotions, sensations, and even dreams with those who share this bond, which, in almost every case, is Tsubaki. I'm only touching on the surface of her drool's fantastic properties, but suffice it to say that it makes you want to know EVERYTHING about Hurabe. 
Her jewel aside, I also find Urabe fascinating, because despite her many quirks, she's surprisingly likable, especially when interacting with her hapless boyfriend, who follows her pace and never gets too fresh lest he risk the wrath of the dreaded panty scissors. Only in anime, people! Only in anime! The supporting cast can easily be boiled down to three characters. The first is Tsubaki's older sister, Yoko, who plays a role of mother to Akira since their mother passed away when he was very young. She's not as important in the anime as she is in the manga, but even here it's very obvious that Yoko is the one that keeps things running in the Tsubaki household, and has made it her duty to raise her brother as best she can in respect to their departed mother. Not the most defined character, but I still appreciate her. Secondly, we have Kohei Ueno, Tsubaki's aforementioned best friend who is often seen hanging out with our hero. Not really much to say about this fellow, he's pretty normal, little shy, and is jealous of other boys eyeing his girl, that's all I can really say about him. But his girlfriend, on the other hand, is nothing so minute. Mita Yuko Oka, a high schooler who may be short, but makes up for it in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes! My kidding aside, Oka is notable as being Urabe's only friend other than Tsubaki, and is characterized by her dogged curiosity about Urabe's drool and her love of teasing her about her relationship. Oka is best described as a cheeky little troublemaker who enjoys discomforting the normally unflappable Urabe and won't let something as small as refusal keep her from making friends if she damn well wants to. Her behavior is nothing malicious, of course, being a relatively minor annoyance, and at the end of the day, it's clear that Urabe is glad for Oka's company, as am I. And by the way, see if you can count how many synonyms for the word little I used in this description, and you'll win a prize! Our story begins with Akira Tsubaki sitting in school and watching as the class is introduced to the new transfer student, Mikoto Urabe. Well, that doesn't tell us very much. Let's see what else we can glean. Screw it! Weirdo! After that little outburst, the rest of the class quite predictably avoids Urabe, except for Tsubaki who, one day after catching her sleeping after school, sees that beneath the bangs she is quite the vision of beauty. いや、もう下校時間だから帰った方が。うん。もうそんな時間。And then this happens. うらべのよだれ。甘い。<笑> Ladies and gentlemen, there exists no rational way to segue into this particular scenario, so the anime doesn't even bother. And it's a good thing too. Anyways, after a few days, Tsubaki takes ill and appears to be getting worse. That is until Urabe shows up and explains the whole shebang to him. He has developed an addiction to her drool, it seems, born of love sickness, and as the two begin a ritual of after-school saliva giving, it is not long before Tsubaki truly falls for this mysterious girl. After confessing his love and demonstrating his commitment to Urabe via ripping up the picture of an old crush, she finally reveals to us the reason she had laughed so hard that fateful day. Man, I wish the voices in my head gave this kind of info. Uh, I mean, I don't hear voices! I am completely sane and am in no way a wanted serial clown molester! I just said that out loud, didn't I? 
So the plot of Mysterious Girlfriend X is the relationship between Tsubaki and Urabe, and how it grows deeper as the series progresses. Through it all, we learn many more things about Urabe's seemingly magical drool, which is in addition to the traditional trials and tribulations you might expect from a slice-of-life romance story, such as the aforementioned old flame resurfacing, or the ever-nail-biting visit to the girlfriend's house! TRAUMA! What I find interesting, however, is that in spite of the utterly bizarre nature of their bond, Urabe and Tsubaki feel very natural in their relationship, and the drool thing is even used to improve the quality of certain scenes meant to build up the trust between the two. Oh, it's odd, but that oddness works for some reason, and you feel the pair grow closer because of it, despite any minor perverted antics on the part of the ever-mischievous Oka. That aside, I can't really give you a concrete story here, it's really more of a series of episodes that, for the most part, could be placed in any order and it wouldn't change the series much. Worth noting is that the order of events is different from that of the mangas, which further illustrates the semi-episodic nature of the series. Not that I object in this case, because the anime still feels consistent despite the relatively meager plot, a feat that I respect. I'd usually talk about the themes at this point, but instead I propose we take a look at one of the key parts of the anime, the mystery surrounding Urabe and her drool. As you may have guessed, we're never really told exactly why her saliva carries these amazing properties, and this is also the case in the manga. We know what it does, but not how, why, nor even if that's all there is to it, and the precious bits of information we are given only add to our questions. Furthermore, Urabe herself is an enigma, and the only details we get pertain to her personality and not her life, which outside of where she lives and a few other things is a pretty blank slate. Of course, this is intentional, since the core of the series is the relationship between Tsubaki and Urabe, and it matters more than any mystery. Or rather, the mystery is used to make us appreciate the romance ever more, and I'm quite sure Richie Ueshiba doesn't intend to spill the beans anytime soon, as it is, after all, not the point of his story. So what is there to like about Mysterious Girlfriend X? Well, for a start, the Mysterious Girlfriend herself! Urabe is a good character because she is not only fascinating due to her many quirks, but she is also surprisingly likeable despite her gloomy, antisocial, and sometimes forceful personality. It makes for a good contrast with Tsubaki, who is completely normal precisely because it would make Urabe's strange charm that much more obvious. A plot device he may be, but he serves his purpose well, and he's quite harmless to boot. Another thing I must praise is the use of the drool. It sucks you in because you want to know more, but ultimately it serves as a means to getting you to care about the plot, like a big red fishing lure to fat, single anime geeks like myself. Finally, I really like the music and art in this anime. I know I usually don't comment on these sort of things, but Richi Ueshiba has a certain talent for detail that is quite simply astounding, something far more obvious in the manga. As for the music, well it is quirky, old-timey, and even a little haunting, a mysterious score that perfectly suits this mysterious tale. As for the cons, well there are certainly a few. Firstly, the mystery is never really answered, and those of you who came for the satisfaction are going to be disappointed, especially if you fail to be interested in the romance, which forms the bulk of the admittedly thin plot. I can understand the frustration of not knowing, especially with this much setup. On the subject of setup, well, the premise aside, the plot is rather anemic as I mentioned, and although the writing makes this work, it doesn't remove the fact that nothing really gets done or accomplished. Like I said, it's fairly normal challenges the protagonists deal with, and hell, the last episode had nothing resembling stakes, which made for a pretty small ending. Third, well, it's a slice of life sane and romance story, so don't expect high adventure and action packed stories. It knows what it is, and people are at risk of being bored by the proceedings, since not everyone is into romance stories. This is more of a subjective con, of course, but I feel it's my duty to inform you that the story isn't nearly as exciting as the title would perhaps suggest. All in all, Mysterious Girlfriend X is an interesting spin on the traditional high school romance story. The premise is outlandish, the mystery is definitely intriguing, and it achieves the bizarre feat of enhancing and making you care for the romance being presented. The main characters are a nice contrast to one another in light of all the unknown elements, and are made more endearing because of it, even in spite of the thin plot and unresolved questions. My final verdict for Mysterious Girlfriend X is a 7 out of 10. A good anime that I can recommend to fans of romance and mystery buffs who can forgive the lack of answers. I further urge you to read the manga after watching this anime, as there is quite a bit more to this tale than a mere 13 episodes, as well as more mysteries and actual answers I haven't yet touched upon. Until next time, I am your cheerful torturer, the Anti-Viewer! <laughs>